listeners, let me say I have been having issues with my audio. I think I've got it all worked out, but it's still not 100%. So if the game sound suddenly cuts out, I apologize. There's not much I can do about it except re yeah, close the game and start over, but that's no fun. So, as you can see, my three days of free Star Rider are up. When you log in, you will get this sign. It's and it, enjoy all the updates in game, new feature, new game features every Wednesday. Choose from multiple unique horse breeds. Get access to thousands of member-only quests. Join the community and hang out with old and new friends. And you can click this button, and it will take you to the website where you pay money to become a Star Rider. Which I will do eventually, but not today. I would like to play through all of the free content so that it's up and available for everybody to see. Um, oh, I need to take... First, I need to take care of my horse, which means buying new things. As you'll see, I'm... You might notice my horse is a little bit different. And my name is a little bit different. And my horse's name is really different. Um, because of the audio issues... Um, like I was experiencing really bad clicking with the microphone whenever I talked. Like it was like click, 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 click. And it was really, really annoying. So, uh, when I first started these videos, this is actually the account I started. And I thought I had recorded an entire session. Only it turned out not. So then I went back and was like, okay, I have to make a new account to record the opening because that's the whole purpose is to start from the beginning. So yes, this is a spare account. Um, and I'll be returning, well, I'll be returning to m one of my oldest accounts, Nicolet Darkmoon, who's only level four. Um, I made her ages ago to play with a friend who then later dropped out. So, I will be using her, and, but for today, we get to play with a Risha Winter Knight. So, that, that's how we're doing this. And, daily caring for your horse completed. As you can see, my horse was red angry face, and now he's a red meh, or a yellow meh face. So, he's still not too pleased with me. I've neglected him for a long time. It's very tragic. Uh, today we're starting right where we left off on the first episode. Hello. My dad, Thomas, wanted to meet you. Apparently he wants to ask you about something very important. I'm scared it might be about our troubles here. Mr. Kemble, a nasty boss from the company GED, is doing everything he can to evict us so that he can demolish the stables and build luxury condos here. We're still trying to figure out what we can do to stop him, but he's as slippery as an eel. Ah, uh, villains. We love them. You should be able to find Thomas outside the stable near Jenna. You know, the girl who showed you the square track? I remember the square track. Do you? Yes. And I don't know why he calls Thomas Thomas when Thomas is his dad. And they actually have a good relationship. So, that's fun. Ugh, let's talk to Thomas. Oh, this is Coffee Bean, by the way. Coffee Bean, say hello. The only difference between Coffee Bean and Stardust is that Coffee Bean is a bay and doesn't have the white hair. Hmm. Anyways. Thank you for coming so fast, Arisha. The situation with Mr. Kimball from GED is getting out of hand, and I need your help. I... D well, hmm. asking a young girl for help when you're an adult is okay sure sure star stable plot we, we we've got it even if it suspend your disbelief okay just just suspend your disbelief it's fine i just heard that he has them almost convinced the council that ged has the rights to the land and there's hardly any time left to stop him Right now, his creepy surveyors are setting up their equipment so that they can make a detailed map for the planned demolition. I'm the true owner of this land, but I need time to prove that to the council. Can you help me save more land stables? Why, yes. Yes, of course. It's the whole reason we're here. We have to delay Mr. Kemble's surveyors to buy some time. All you have to do is turn off their GPS equipment. 
They're setting up in the area outside the stable, between here and the hills where their construction site is. I've marked more or less where the GPS equipment is on your map. Good luck. Okay. Oh. Usually that centered, I... Anyways, you can move your quest screen to wherever you want it. To pop up. And we get handy dandy zoom... I didn't I already do this quest? Splendid! Good work. I truly appreciate it. That will delay them for a while. Now I've at least got a little time to build my case against Mr. Kimball for the cancel. What am I going to do, Arisha? Mr. Kimball is really putting pressure on me with all these legal documents. I'm sure I could stop him if I just had a little more time. Hmm, if he wants to play dirty, I'll show him that he has met his match. Let's see. Right past the blacksmiths and up toward the hills. Along the road, there is a power distribution box, just where the road turns at the construction site. It should be possible to turn off that horrible sign by turning off the power there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. That should buy us some more time. Yes, it should. Yes, teaching young girls corporate... Corporate, that's the word. Wow. Teaching young girls corporate espionage. It's great. Defending the little people. Fighting back against the big companies. Wahaha. This is an America generation we need to grow up pretty damn quick. Haha, oh, I think I can hear that nasty man shouting all the way over here. Now I have a bit more time, just what we need. Now we don't have to see that horrible GED sign anymore. All I need to do to is prove that I actually own the land, then I can stop Mr. Kemble. There's a deed to Moorland Stables that my father was given over 50 years ago by the Baroness of Silverglade, who lives in the castle. It's a pretty castle. It's You can't see it from here, but it's right up here. I can't find the documents here, but I think that our old accountant, Mrs. Holdsworth, must know where the title deed is. She knows everything about our business. She retired last year and now spends her days taking care of the flowers outside her little cottage. Go see her. She should be able to tell you where the documents are. You can find her in the little red wooden cottage just outside the stables, close to the beach. And you can see it down here. You can also pull up your big map and see more. Hello, dear. What can I do for you? Hmm, let me think. I believe there was a deed of ownership, but it got lost some years ago. When Thomas Morland's wife, Catherine, died in childbirth, Thomas lost all interest in papers and documents and just wanted to spend time with his horses. All the paperwork was put in a chest and sent over to Catherine's father, and there's a good chance that the title deed was in that chest. Her dad is Jasper Holbrook, and the child that was born is, of course, Justin. Jasper blames Thomas for Catherine's death, and they haven't spoken in 20 years. It's a tragedy that this feud between has been going on for so long, but if anyone has the title deed, it would be old man Jasper. It won't be easy convincing him to part with it, though. You'll find old man Jasper along the road leading to Fort Pinta, close to the wall. Press M on the keyboard or click the mini-map to open the map. Yes, I just said that. Good luck, dear. So again, you can see down on the mini-map, or you can hit M, open your big map, and get a better idea of where to go. You can also see what other quests are available. There's a lot. We have lots of stuff to do, even in the free trial. Free trial? I'm not sure it's really a trial. Free zone? We'll, we'll call it a free zone. Wow, 
well, you found me. And now you can leave me alone again. <laughs> wow, thanks. Get off my lawn. Oh, I love up. Bah. What do I care if Moorland Stables is raised to the ground? That place killed my daughter and I have hated the Moorlands for the better part of 20 years. If you think you can change that, you're welcome to try, but I won't help you. So, uh, neat fact. Our good friend Justin is 20 years old. Never made that connection before. <laughs> Hi, Arisha. Have you been to see my grandfather, Jasper? That crazy old man hates us, and nothing will please him more than to see our stable raised to the ground. That's so sad. Family troubles. I don't know how I can make that old fool of a grandfather change his mind. I know that my mom really loved my dad, Thomas. What happened was a terrible tragedy. I have these letters from my mom and dad that they wrote to each other before they got married. They prove it was true love. I've been thinking of showing them to my grandfather, Jasper, but never really dared. If he saw them, he would realize that Catherine and Thomas really loved each other. Maybe you could show him? Take these letters and show them to Jasper. They should make some kind of impression on him. We can hope. Love. Love is going to save the stables. What? Are you here again? What's with all the papers? Let me have a look at that. It looks really old. I recognize that handwriting. Is it true? Were they really written by my daughter? Yep. When I read these letters from my beloved daughter, my heart weeps. I've been such a proud idiot all these years, and it cost me my grandson. Sob, sob. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have the title deed, and of course I will give it to Thomas Moreland. That slime ball, Mr. Kimball, is a disgrace to this island. Here is the key to my deposit box in Fort Pinta. You'll find the title deed inside. Collect it and bring the key back to me before you say anything to Thomas Moreland. From now on, you can ride across my land whenever you want. You will get to Fort Pinta by following the Fort Pinta road here. You'll find the deposit box at the notary in the Fort Pinta main building. On to Fort Pinta! Cinematic! Yes, lovely. It's kind of obvious which road we have to take. Thanks, Star Stable. Um, while we're on our way, a couple notable things. There's this thing here. It's a refrigerator door. If you listen, um, maybe it's too quiet, but uh, you can hear gears working under and there's this light that you can only see at night so us night owls oh yeah we know something's up um the storyline hasn't progressed we have no idea what these are um there are five of them scattered throughout Jorvik so if you want to have fun scavenging those you totally should and then mark them on your map and and it's amazing I'm really looking forward to the quest line that brings those in. The other notable thing is this. Here we are at Ferdinand's Horse Market. Um, they typically have some um, Jorvik Wormbloods here that you can buy. And some other horses. Most notably, they have the Generation 1 horses, which have all been updated. Um, and yeah, as they haven't actually updated the Shires, but... But, uh, yeah. That Shire used to live in Fort Pinta, and it's been moved. Because horses don't stay in Fort Pinta for very long. Um... But yeah, so you can come and look at the horses. You can get uh, new warm bloods, like your starter horse. And 
yeah so that that that's that's that and yes there's a quest i'll come back to it some other day Oh yes, thanks. I guess new players might have a hard time finding that because, hey, giant shiny sparkles aren't indicator enough, right? Uh, interesting fact, this is where you come to change your horse's name. It costs uh, 135 star coins, I think. Let me see if I can find my notes as I send things on my desk flying because I live in organized chaos. <laughs> there it is. Nope, that's not it either. Well, anyways, I think it's $135. Do dollars? Ha ah, no. Here are star coins. These. <laughs> Thanks for getting the title deed. There are, these are the old legal documents that show that Thomas is the rightful owner of Moreland Stables. And you brought my key back, too. Great. Thank you. Thanks once again. Ooh. Old documents for Thomas. Well, what do you know? My frosty heart is now warm after 20 years in the cold. Young lady, I give you this title deed to Moreland Stables. You have certainly earned it. Thomas will definitely be happy now. Ooh, and we get gear. That's always exciting. Young lady, would you possibly do a grumpy old man a favor? Could you take these leaders and this amulet that belong to Catherine, just his mother, and give them to him? Tell him what you have done, and that I want to see him as soon as possible. It's not much, but at least it's an attempt to try to start repairing twenty years of bitterness. And a way for this old fool to say sorry. Aww. What a good grandpa, kind of. It doesn't really make up for twenty years of being a jerk, but it's a good start. Oh, Arisha, you have no idea how happy this makes me. This feud has been going on for far too long, and it's finally come to an end, all thanks to you. You will always be a very special friend to us here at Marland Stables. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, and let's see. Reputation increased. Oh, and I get a new jacket. Um... I don't know if I went over stats, have gone over stats yet, so let's do that really quick. Um, as you can see, both you and your horse have these numbers and stats. Uh, riding, carrying, command, jumping for you, strength, discipline, swiftness, and horse agility for your horse. Now... Uh, riding improves speed and how well the horse changes directions. Command how quickly horse changes gates. Jumping is how high and for how high and far your horse jumps. Carrying, um, I'm sure you've noticed, but when you're walking and your horse goes, and you have that's when you have to refresh. That's what carrying refers to. So it increases the span between knitting to encourage your horse. It's it's not like this carrying, which is what I thought when I first began, but huh, things I wish I'd known when I began Star Stable Online. Um, 
So yes, so you, you do that less frequently as you gain experience. And you can get, you can increase all of these numbers from gear, but they also go up by one with every level. Your stats go up with your level, and your horse's stats go up with his level. So if you have a level 15 horse, and then you suddenly buy a new one and he's level 1, his stats are going to be much lower. So he'll handle differently than your epic, fully grown horse. And that covers that. Oh, wait, no, I didn't go over horse stats. Sorry. Um, for the horse... Strength is how, strength is, um, strength and jumping are the same, so it's how high your horse jumps. Uh, discipline is the same as command, so how quickly the horse changes gates. Swiftness is the same as riding and agility, so, so, yes, yeah, swiftness and agility are both the same. It, they, they're how fast your horse goes. Um, endurance is how much injury the horse can take. So this little bar, if you run into a fence or fall off a cliff, he might get hurt. And that comes back up gradually. I've never bottomed out a horse before. Um, I'm not even sure what happens. If you know, hook up with me on Twitter and tell me so I can share the wonderful information. Um, endurance is the only skill that you cannot increase with gear. It's only with your horse's level. So, but like I said, you're not running around battling monsters and your horse isn't getting like, get bitten by a snake. So, unless you intentionally try to kill your horse, nothing's going to happen. It's fine. Holy horses, you saved the stables from demolition. Why, well, yes. Yes, we did. We're so amazing. Me and Coffee Bean. Finally, I can prove that I'm the rightful owner of Moreland Stables, and it's all thanks to you. I will show this to the council, and then Mr. Kemble, who, and then Mr. Kemble will have no choice but to stop construction of the new buildings. I don't know how to thank you. I owe you more than I could ever repay you. Ah, don't mention it. I mean, we're here to help. No, really, that's kind of what the game is about. Oh, look, I got pants. Ooh. Eat pants. Oh, I'm moving this. Okay. Um, I know we've only done a few quests, and that makes for a really, really, really short video. But let's call it here, because this kind of ties up a nice little plot thread, and we'll continue on... Next week, next week I'll probably clear out some of these side quests, like we need to talk to Maya again, and it looks like Tan has something for us to do, and the blacksmith up here. So, I had so much fun with you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Happy writing!